of equity research, he was absolutely amazed that the government was going to take away some of the dividends paid to banks by the Federal Reserve. Now understand, this is a system that has been in place since the creation of the Federal Reserve. For a hundred years, throughout the Great Depression, throughout the biggest Wall Street, the booms, the bust, all these cycles that we've had, every year the banks get 6% on the money that they deposit with the Federal Reserve, the cash deposits that they put on with them. Now they're able to get that money at 0%, aren't they? That's where the interest rates are. That is the great scandal. They're not talking about that. But this fellow that was Dick Bove, who was with Rafferty, Rafferty Capital, was concerned about the fact that they were going to take that 6%, they were going to cut it to 1.5%. They were going to take that 4.5% and put it on a highway fund. He said, this is nationalization of the banks. This is outright socialism. Do you see how far apart Wall Street and the socialists are? It isn't socialism. And what we have today is not capitalism. It is the American public being raped. Let me give you an example of this. Even if they cut the 6% to 1.5%, when you have a 0% cost on the money that you get from the Federal Reserve and you park it there, and of course, they've been parking it there because if they put it into circulation, we would have something like hyperinflation. Nevertheless, when they are able to get this money for 0% and loan it out, even at 1.5%, what's the return on that? You divide by zero, you get an infinite return. It just means that you don't become a trillionaire as quickly. And of course, we understand what they're doing with credit cards, for example. Wells Fargo is shifting their strategy in a bid to double their credit card loans. They've only got about 4% 4 of their capital in credit card loans. You have other banks like J.P. Morgan that have 16% of their loans as credit cards, or Bank of America at 10%. Why do they do that? Because the interest rate, the average interest rate on credit cards right now is over 15%. It just jumped for the first time in several months, and it's now over 15%. They can get this money for 0%. The Federal Reserve will pay them 6% on this, or they can loan it to you with a credit card and get at least 15% on average. Of course, if you get delinquent or they have a, an issue with your credit worthiness, they will jump that up in a heartbeat. That's the kind of predatory banking that we have. It isn't an issue of Wall Street. It's an issue of the Federal Reserve. And the only way that any of these socialist policies about free tuition and all these other things that Hillary and uh, Bernie Sanders are promising people, the only way they're going to be able to bring that to fruition is if they can use the phony money that the Federal Reserve has. That's why they won't talk about it, because it is that kind of corruption from the Federal Reserve that finances socialism that they're offering us. Stay with us. We're going to be right back and we're going to talk about the Pope and climate change. New information about that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWarsLife.com, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're going to crash and going to feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. 
This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Welcome back. Now on the Drudge Report today, there were some updates on what is going on with the Pope saying that there's an outright civil war going on in the Vatican. Here's the way they put it. Civil war has erupted at the top of the Catholic Church with 13 cardinals, including Australia's Cardinal George Pell, warning the Pope in a letter that the church is in danger of collapsing like liberal Protestant churches in the modern era. Why would they say that? Well, they would say that because modern liberal churches in America, Protestant churches in America, became more concerned with liberal causes than with the traditional concerns, the religious concerns, the family concerns that they had always focused on in the past. And that's what's happening in the Catholic Church as well. That's what these cardinals are concerned about. And remember, the cardinals are the ones second uh, to the pope. It's the College of Cardinals that uh, chooses the pope. Now, he had a family conference that was going on in the Vatican. He has now asked forgiveness for several scandals that have erupted in the last couple of weeks. Reminiscent of what we saw when he came to America, when he was making the tour of Washington, New York, as well as Philadelphia, the first two, of course, were completely political. They were talking about climate change. That was what he was really here to push, was climate change. He was trying to make the case to Obama, to the Congress, to the United Nations, that we needed to have global governance in order to protect the world's climate. That was what he was really concerned about, not traditional moral issues that the church has usually concerned itself with. Then he went to Philadelphia and did a families conference. And that was the site, ironically, or perhaps deliberately, the site of the worst pedophile abuse that we have seen from the Catholic Church in America. So he went right to that site and held a world families conference. Now at the site of another family conference at the Vatican, he comes out and asks forgiveness for some sex scandals. Let's roll the clip from Reuters. Jesus is a realist. He says it is inevitable that there will be scandals, but woe to the man who causes scandals. Today, before I begin the catechism, in the name of the church, I ask you for forgiveness for the scandals that have occurred recently either in Rome or in the Vatican. And again, as you heard the Pope say, uh, you know, mistakes are going to happen. He said Jesus was a realist. Look, Jesus didn't say that there were going to be scandals. Jesus said he was a scandal. He said that who he was, who he claimed he was, what he did was going to be scandalous. He also said, don't offend these little ones. If you do, it'd be better for you if you're thrown into the ocean with a millstone around your neck. 
That's the real concern that he should be having. The concern for the victims of these sexual scandals, the pedophile uh, victims. And this is very important because we're not just beating up on the Catholic Church. This has to do with the fact that the Pope is being used to put a moral authority on a political agenda that's being sold on junk science. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment and what the traditional Catholic cardinals have called this and said that uh, this is not something the Catholic Church should be involved in. We don't have any book as a specialty in uh, science. But let's take a look specifically at what this pope is saying, because it really does impact on the moral authority, and there are people whose lives are being destroyed by these pedophile scandals. Now, Reuters is saying that there were two scandals within the last couple of weeks, and you saw the one where you had a monsignor, someone who's very high, who's been at the Vatican for many years. Uh, this was, they said there's two scandals involving the Vatican and the church in Rome in the past two weeks. On October 3rd, a Polish monsignor in office since 2003, that's 12 years, held a packed news conference in which he discussed that he was gay and had been living with a man for a number of years. Now, he was subsequently fired. The second scandal, they report, is the Pope appeared to be referring to a scandal that it was exposed in the Italian media last week about an order of priests who run a parish in a well-to-do neighborhood in Rome. They say a clergyman there had had encounters with, quote-unquote, vulnerable adults. They say the clergyman's illicit activities uh, were discovered and they were furious and he was transferred to another part of Italy instead of being disciplined. You understand how that works? That's what they do with the pedophiles that they've found. That's been the procedure that the Vatican has done. And of course, when this pope came into office, he told the largest circulation newspaper that he thought that about 2% of the priests were pedophiles. That would be about 8,000 priests that they're leaving in office or moving around once it's discovered. And we all know from experience that pedophiles continue this operation. That's why they have sexual predator uh, registers, so that people in neighborhoods can know about people that have been caught doing this sort of thing because they repeat the pattern if you don't keep them incarcerated. They're not incarcerating them. They're not even throwing them out of the priesthood. They're just moving them somewhere where people don't know about it. But there's more than two scandals. There was another scandal. At the beginning, uh, not even a week ago, this was an Italian priest, Don Gino Flame justified pedophilia on live television in Italy, and he blamed the children for seeking affection. This is an Italian priest who justified pedophilia in the clergy on live television. He blamed the children who, quote unquote, seek affection for tempting the adults. He's 75 years old. He's from the Diocese of Trento in northern Italy. He said, unfortunately, there's children who seek affection because they don't get it at home. And then when they find some priest, uh, he can even give in to the temptation. I understand this. This is exactly what the people from SNAP, the survivors network of those abused by priests said, when they went for help to other priests or to nuns after they'd been abused by a priest, they were blamed. They were told that they were the problem. This is precisely the issue that we've seen over and over in the past. And it says, asked if he believed the children were in any way responsible. He said, well, in many cases, yes. In many cases, yes. And he said he could understand pedophilia, but he couldn't understand the sickness of homosexuality. Let me tell you something. Homosexuality is between consenting adults. This is against children who cannot give their consent legally. We understand that. That's why we consider this to be a crime. That's why we lock people up for that, not for homosexuality. This is what they ignore. This is what they allow to happen. And you know, quite frankly, he sounds exactly like Pope Francis. They will fire somebody because he admits that he's been uh, in a homosexual relationship. Of course, that that uh, is in flagrant violation of the Catholic Church's policies or doctrines. He should be fired for that. Nevertheless, they will, they will tolerate pedophiles who continue to prey on children. So why is all this important? It's be important because he's trying to sell his moral authority to tell us about climate change. But this is what the conservative cardinals are telling him. They say, the church has no mandate from the Lord to pronounce on scientific matters. We believe in the autonomy of science. That was what was in the letter that I referred to at the beginning of this section. The 13 cardinals, uh, and these are cardinals from Bologna, Toronto, New York, Galveston, Nairobi, Mexico, many areas. And of course, the leader of that group is an Australian cardinal, George Pell. This is all being done to sell climate change. And the time we have left in this segment, I want to tell you what's going on in France, because this is where they're all headed. They're going to have the massive uh, seminar in Paris, France. That's where they're, what this is all leading up to. That's going to be in December. There they're going to push for a UN agenda. Perhaps we will see Obama sign a treaty 
without the approval of the Congress, because that seems to be an anachronism in today's Washington, that we would